everyone welcome back to another video on bitcoin update so we can see that bitcoin has been rejected from its resistance at 52,000 level so from the past few weeks bitcoin in the whole month of december it has been ranging from from this support which is at 45,000 it took a bounce from 45,000 tested its support around four times and then it has been tested resistance three times and it has been rejected from $52,000 and currently we have a support at $48,000 so this isn't a strong uh, support over here we can expect a bounce a relief bounce from here but uh, that isn't any volume enough to break Bitcoin the resistance from $50,000 and then hold above $53,500 we don't have that res uh, volume yet for Bitcoin to be bullish so short term we are still bearish and we can expect the price of bitcoin to go test lower as as uh, as the month as month end and we can expect it to be near 42000 and this is the expectations and we aren't saying that bitcoin is into the bear market for bear market we have to lose the 40000 support and then we are into a bear market for the next Two years we're currently ranging and sideways movement so we can't say if we are about this zone it's bullish below this it's bearish and currently the ball is towards the bearish side i mean uh, the market is favoring the bears with the month and uh, i mean the year end and everything so no enough volume for breakouts towards bullish side we can expect a lower uh bitcoin to go lower so what can happen if we go uh if let's talk bearish to here because a lot of my videos are totally bullish saying Bitcoin go to 100,000. So in this video, I'm going to tell you what can happen if there's a bearish view. So first of all, Bitcoin will have a week towards $42,000, 42, and we can see a small relief bounce. Like we had a relief bounce. So we had seen a lot of ALTs pump at this point. And this is a relief bounce which you had got. So we get a week over here and we'll see ALTs go minus 30 to minus 40% again during this week. And then there'll be a small retracement. You will see ALTs bounce 10%, 15%, a good bounce back of ALTs from this point. And then we might see Bitcoin go. Like I'm expecting Bitcoin to probably bottom out near $25,000, $25,000, $25 to $27, $27,000. We can expect the bottom over here. I'm not exp uh, so when I say this range, $25,000 to $27,000, this is. Uh, over a time span of around one year and um, probably by end of 2022 to q1 of 2023 so i'm saying this as a long-term point of view when we say bear market doesn't mean that in next one week bitcoin will be at 25,000. no it's a bear point of view we'll have the same acclimation zone bitcoin moving uh, moving sideways we'll see a retracement rallies we'll see alts pump then bitcoin go to slow support then start moving sideways like we can see uh we might see let me show you over here we will see again a small accumulation zone over here if we move in the bear market the next uh, next we will see at near 32 32000 we will see we'll see accumulation zone over here sideways move, movement again for two three months over here then one more we'll see at 24 like 24 to 25000 dollars we can expect an, an another accumulation zone over here so this is how the market is going to go and this is over a time span of maybe till 2023 q1 to 2024 q1 sideways movements and then we'll have a rally in 2025 uh, next bull rally if if it goes according to this chart which is currently being showing uh, like which is currently being followed we made a peak and i feel this is the uh, i don't feel it's the peak but we don't have enough volume in the market and by March we can expect a decision both for stocks and crypto. So something which has to happen, it has to happen in the Q1 of 2022. So currently we are bearish and uh, I don't see any bullish until 53,000 mark is broken. So that's all for bullish. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, that's all for the update on Bitcoin. So any investment point of view, uh, I just want to say every LT in the market is overvalued by 60 to 70 percent easily. Any LT you pick up in the market, even Ethereum, BNB, they are overvalued by 50 to 70 percent. So from current price, from current price. So these LTs can have a correction of 50 to 70 percent for current price. So don't think they have bottom out or then what's the max pain for you? No, another 50 to 70 percent easily in a bear market. So make investment based on that. And uh, I said this based on Bitcoin uh, bottoming out near 24,000, 24 to 26,000. And if you break the 50, uh, 
mark, there'll be a new setup. I'll give a new setup of bullish setup. So currently, it's the bearish setup. So based on that, so make your investment be, uh, based on that. Manage your risk and uh, don't be more exposed to LT. Some all these are not meant to earn. We we will go into LTs when we get a bounce. So we'll we'll enjoy the relief bounce. We'll get an easy 10 to 15 percent bounce. We'll move our uh, USDT into LT so here. So there's no need to FOMO in. Doesn't mean every day we have to earn. Sometimes owning USDT stable coins in your portfolio is also an advantage, a plus point of view. So don't look crypto market as an investment point of view. It's good for investment, but use your brains to use it. Use it as a platform where you uh, where you do daily trading. Like how do you work? So use it as a work. Some days are for making money. Some some days are to uh, to work smart to hold stable coins in a portfolio and good opportunity to buy dips. So. Manage risk and that's all I have to say. So thank you guys. Hope you guys are safe.